Hi, today we're going to be talking about middle-aged white women who are threatened by a young man because he does makeup better than them. So I'm pretty sure everybody's already heard about this, but I'm just going to talk about it again because that's my whole thing, talking about news that everyone already knows because... So Sophie Law from Daily Mail said, YouTube virtually unknown newest vlogger and his 8,000 screaming fans bring Birmingham City Centre to a shock standstill with extra police drafted in amid crush fears as he opens cosmetic store. Okay, firstly, you cannot use virtually unknown and 8,000 screaming fans in the same sentence. And all of her social media platforms has over 13 million followers. And she's literally, like, this doesn't make sense. You don't have to attack him for this. It is not his fault that so many people came to see him that it took others so much longer to get home. He was there doing business and he's obviously doing well. And Sophie Law here is mad at him because he's doing well. And his job isn't like fucking human trafficking, he's not hurting anybody. But of course the article comments also have to come in. He's in need of a mental health expert. Easily influenced, gullible, impressionable teenage girls who know no better and more and more of which are growing up with self-loathing issues because they think they don't measure up to these soulless cretins. Okay, so you're mad because he's pretty? Why are you hating on James Charles for that? He's just doing makeup. He's doing fine. Hate people like the fucking Kardashians. I mean, I guess James Charles did do a couple videos. Um, okay. Half of this doesn't make sense. Do you speak English? Birmingham kids must be very bored if this excites them. Says the one commenting on a bullshit article hating on people for enjoying makeup. And of course, this video. A glimpse of popular YouTube makeup star James Charles. He was there to open a new store, but his appearance came at the same time city centre traffic became gridlocked for hours. And it took, um, took me an hour and a half to get home. How yeah. long did it take you to get home? Well, about the same. About the same. <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. But actually, I did for a makeup star. I mean, you do beautiful makeup. Why? <laughs> Yeah. You get yourself that, on YouTube. That's because I take advice from a woman, not a man. Because I take advice from a woman, not a man. Because I take advice from a woman, not a man. Because I take advice from a woman, not a man. You're literally just being blatantly sexist on live television. Well, I'm not sure it's live. Yeah, it is live. They would have cut it out if, like, it wasn't. So, yes. Kellen Markey on Twitter said, This is the 30-year-old woman on national television whining about what a 19-year-old puts on their face just because their name isn't Stephanie. Hope the grandkids are proud. Thank you. And on some other YouTuber news from Snapchat. It says, Zoella is threatened with two years in prison. She's not going to prison, by the way. What happened was she forgot to say that she was sponsored by Best Fiends in one of her... things. The reason I brought this up is because I'd like to link it to news like PewDiePie is an artsy or stupid shit like that. I mean, I get it. You need to do your job. But at some point, it just gets stupid when you're grasping onto the tiniest threads that you can find to try and make somebody look stupid when in reality, it just makes you look dumb. If you're going to shout out more than like five, ten channels, it's going to be difficult to monitor everything that they post. One way or another, you're gonna stumble across a channel that has controversial opinions, and it's very likely that you would not have known about them. And obviously there was the Manny MUA thing, which is quite old, but I didn't talk about it. What happened is that the channel T-Spill exposed Manny in one of their videos, because that's what they do. And although it fell under fair use policy, Manny decided to copy strike it, which we already know is illegal, but not only only that, Teaspool puts a disclaimer at the start of their videos specifically stating that it does fall under fair use. So Manny saw that and ignored it because he didn't like the content. He did apologize later on Twitter. I personally believe it was a good apology. It's very hard to apologize for something and make it seem genuine when you're a YouTuber because we have people like Laura Lee and Logan Paul and shit. They shine a very bad light on the community. I do, however, think that the apology took way too long. Like, what happened in the first way obviously shouldn't have happened. It was so easily avoidable. And he didn't avoid it. So y'all are gonna have your own opinions on that. 
And of course Shane Dawson has a new conspiracy theory documentary thing. Shane Dawson's content has been the absolute shittest thing in the past like, I don't know, a few months, maybe a year almost. Like before the Jake Paul and Tanner documentary, it was just visiting haunted ships or haunted hotels and it just wasn't working. I mean, it was wor working out for him. He got millions of views, but he always does. And it was just, he elongates his videos a bit too much. People often give YouTubers shit for dragging out their videos to 10 minutes. I personally think that's okay because, you know, money is money. And dragging a video out to 10 minutes isn't like a horrible thing to do for money. But if you're gonna drag a video out, at least have somewhat good content. Do not leave in 5 seconds of you literally just breathing. Nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to hear you stutter for 3 seconds. And nobody wants to watch a 30 minute video of you walking around a ship that is supposedly haunted by ghosts. And that was the problem with his um, Jake Paul and Tanner shit as well. Just don't drag shit on. The only reason he made the Jake Paul series 8 episodes or whatever and every part was so long was because he purposely dragged them out. He knew that there was no content, but he knew that he could make the videos longer to get more money. Which would have been fine, again, if it was exciting, if it was entertaining, but it was not. They were just full of bullshit reactions. They were overdramatic, stupid ass stock footage, and just complete and utter bullshit. It could have been an amazing series, but he ruined it. So I feel like I've ranted on for long enough. Please tell Instagram to stop fucking deleting my posts. And yeah, that's about it. Ushers are annoying. Okay, bye.